Hi ladies, I'm here with an unboxing. I've got the May Pettivore box and uh, it, this actually came um, maybe about a week and a half ago, but I was on my way out for vacation and if you've ever tried to pack yourself and several kids, you know that that is like a huge job. So um, yeah, because if you don't help your children, then you'll end up with like a pair of pajamas and cowboy boots and a bathing suit. And that's it. So anyways, um, all my efforts were devoted to packing to go to the beach. Had a wonderful time back now, so let's get to the unboxing. Pretty powerful. More than skin deep. That is the theme of this month's Petty Vore Box. And uh, just a quick note, it does say two years ago this week we launched Petty Vore with a mission to help women effortlessly and delightfully discover the creme de la creme of cruelty-free products. So anyways, um, yeah, it's been two years since they've been going. And I've only been with them a couple of months now, but so far I really, really like this box. And I think it's a great box. I do not regret having subscribed yet. Um, looks like I've got some really interesting things in here. First thing, I'll start off with the thing that I'm least excited about. And I guess you pronounce that Mun Number 11 Anna Rose. This is a rejuvenating rose toner. And my lack of excitement is based on the size. Nothing else. Um, it's probably a great product. This is worth $2. And a full size is $68. That would be for 100 milliliters. Made with only natural and organic ingredients, softening and soothing for dry or stressed skin, revitalizing, giving skin a natural glow and radiance, performance enhancing, you are to use it prior to moisturizer, so therefore it's supposed to like help your moisturizer work better. Um, protective against environmental damage and pollution. Pour a few drops into your palm and press into your washed and dried cheeks, forehead, and chin. Okay, so you don't use like a cotton ball or whatever, you just kind of like press it in. That's a little unusual. This actually says to use a cotton pad and generously apply. Hmm. So, pick away, I guess. Just choose one and go with it. Um, I'm not going to open this and show it to you because it's obviously just such a small pack. I don't want to waste it. Um, so, yeah. I don't really use toner. Maybe that's really horrible of me. I have some toner, and occasionally I will use toner, but generally I don't use toner. I use like a liquid exfoliant, so um, it's just a lot of stuff I put on my skin that I have to wait for it to dry, and toner would just be another thing, but still, I will try this out and see how it goes. Next up, this brand is NYL. I don't know if you're supposed to call it Neil or NYL, but it says that this is organic shimmer scrub. It is really pretty. Wow, and the ingredient list is easy. Organic unrefined cane sugar, organic rosehip seed oil, organic meadow foam seed oil, organic grape seed oil, organic vitamin E oil, organic essential oils, mica, which is titanium dioxide, iron, and oxide. And of course, cruelty free. Um, so that's, it's really pretty too. Can you see all the sparkles in there? It's beautiful. And that's how it looks. Ooh, it smells like citrus, kind of like grapefruit and oranges. Wonderful smell for summer. Um, you know what? We're, we're going to try this out. We're going to have to try this out. So I'm just going to get a little bit of this. And it's got some moisture so that it sticks, but it doesn't want to stick a whole, whole lot. So, I don't want to get too much. Alright, so I'm going to get it and rub it in right here. And of course, since it is an actual sugar scrub, it is a rather large grit. That's pretty sparkly. Alright, I'm going to grab my trash can and hold it under my hand so that this doesn't make a huge mess. I'm just going to rub it in and then kind of rub it off so we can see what's left behind afterwards. Yeah, there is. There's actually like shimmer left over. I don't, it, I'm trying to make sure I get all the little particles off because I don't want, 
that to be mistaken for shimmer. But you, I just don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. Are you able to see that shimmer there? There is a shimmer. Um, I don't know if it would just rub right off, like if you, you know, when you rinsed. Um, but it's also not terribly oily. You know how most sugar scrubs are like seriously greasy? Like you use them in the shower and then you have to use soap after it because it's like so greasy. This is not like that. So if you're concerned with the oiliness of a typical scrub, this one doesn't appear to have that kind of problem. Um, but if you want it to be super oily, then this is, might not be moisturizing enough for you. Very interesting product though. I'm looking forward to using this, like actually using it. And it says that it is made in small batches. Gently exfoliating with its thick sugary paste, deeply moisturizing, leaving skin silky smooth. Yes, yes it is. Um, shimmering, giving skin a luminous dewy glow. A fabulous non-toxic alternative to shaving cream. Hmm. How would that work as an alternative to shaving cream? You run this on and then you shave, but wouldn't the little sand grits get all in your razor and stuff? I don't know. You know, hey, I'll try it out. I'm game to try out almost anything at least once. Okay, next up. Ooh, I'm very excited for this. This is Lippy Girl, and it is a Vigo-centric vegan lipstick, and the color is Boss Lady. <laughs> I'm the boss. I haven't gotten a lot of natural makeup yet in my subscriptions. It's mostly skincare so far, it seems. So I'm really excited to actually get some makeup, and um, there's like this little cameo of this woman. And, ooh, ooh, that is like totally one of my kind of colors. Love this color, Silas. So um, yeah, my lips are clean. Nice. Don't really smell anything. It's kind of just got like that kind of waxy type scent that most lipsticks do have. It's a brownish red. Almost like there's a hint of an orange or copper color to it. And I think it's really pretty. I like it. It's really, you know, a color that I would definitely wear. And so that's nice. I'm going to swatch it for you on this side. To me, I would call this color like raisin. That's like a raisiny color. That's what I think. Beautiful color. Um, appears to be full size, I suppose. This is Vigo Centric Organic Lipstick, $23 value. Um, it doesn't give you like a, you know, a different size or anything, so I'm going to assume that this is full size. Handmade with only organic wildcrafted ingredients, super creamy, giving lips a soft matte look. Yes, it is matte. It is creamy. It is soft. Perfectly moisturizing for all day and night wear. I guess it's moisturizing. It's not like super duper moisturizing, but usually if something's super duper moisturizing, it comes back off really quickly. So I don't mind that it's not super duper moisturizing. Um, Non-bleeding, so color stays put inside the lines. Bonus. Uh, completely 100% recyclable, so don't forget. All right, so this can be recycled when you're done using it up. Awesome. Nice. Really glad to have this. Liking this a lot. All right, so then what appears to be the final product in here? Zabana Essentials. And this is Shimmery Dry Glow Shampoo. Wow. 100% natural and vegan. It's made in San Diego, California. And um, Zabana, Zabana, I'm not really sure. Um, I'm intrigued by this, but I'm not going to lie. I'm a little scared by it too. Dry shampoo I use, and I use lots of it. Like I use it several times a week. Um, but Shimmery, hmm. I don't know. I mean, wouldn't that kind of make it look 
oily, possibly, or just kind of like Judy Jetson kind of thing going on. I don't know. All right, so if you can see, there's just like this powder. It's a powder. And let's try it out. Pump up those limp strands. EE Dry Glow Shampoo is a quick on the go alternative absorbing excess oils, volumizing and refreshing the hair and scalp without water, adding a subtle hint of shimmer to your strands. Sprinkle on the roots and distribute to the ends of hair using a natural bristle brush. Allow dry shampoo to set for five to 10 minutes, then style as usual. Wash hands after use and you are to shake well before each use. So it's got kale and clay, Avena, which is collodial, Collo collodial, hope I said that right. Collodial oatmeal, sativa, maranta, which is arrowroot, arundinacea powder, hmm. sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda, and natural scent extracts, essential oils, and mica. All right, so it's got this really convenient screw top cap, and I'm just going to just sprinkle some out. More than that, okay. This is how it looks. And I'm just going to put some right here above the lipstick and rub it in. I don't know, it's definitely not like Disco Queen sprinkly. So, if there's shimmer, it's got to be very, very subtle because I'm just like, rubbing lots and lots of this in and you can see there's no like shimmeriness so i think we're safe i think i'm safe to uh use this and not worry about looking like my hair you know my scalp is glowing out my head so um i'm gonna try this out yeah i'm gonna move you guys closer so we can all see my scalp better okay i've kind of squatted down here and i'm just gonna get a little of this and sprinkle it in all right and I suppose you're supposed to actually let it sit for five to ten minutes like it says but I ain't got time for that so I'm just gonna kind of rub it in there's no like white flakiness which is an absolute must for any dry shampoo I use can you guys see my gray hair? Look, I have like a silver hair going right there. <laughs> but, I mean, it looks good. It, it doesn't, I can't see shimmer, but it looks like it's a fine dry shampoo. And it kind of gives a little bulk to it, see? I can get a little build here. can totally like get some volume going if that's what I wanted. So I look a little crazy now, right? Um, but anyways, yeah, I don't really see a shimmer. So, you know, the shimmer thing is not happening, at least not in my hair. Maybe if you're blonde or something, it would. I don't know. But it does seem like a really great dry shampoo. So that's neat. Um, let's see what it smells like. It's weird. The first thing I smell is like a coconut smell but then it disappears into just like this clay kind of chalky smell so it's not super smelly and it's not disappointing because I actually like the smell of coconut it's pretty good but it's not a strong smell it's like weird it's like coconut play-doh clay yeah interesting I will definitely use this. I actually wish I would have had this when I went on vacations. Perfect little small and um, perfect size to use traveling. Let's put it that way. To recap, we have got the um, dry shampoo from Zabona Essentials. We have got the Lippy Girl Beautiful Lipstick. We have got the Moon um, Toner. And then we have got the NYL Organic Shimmer Scrub. So we've got one product for hair, one cosmetic, one skincare, and one body body care product, I suppose. Um, all in all, a really great assortment of products. I think out of all of them, this is my favorite. 
I'm probably going to use the heck out of this. If you are interested in joining Petty Vor, I will include a link down in the description of this video. Um, they don't really have like a referral link or anything like that, but if you will say that the Real Mom Review re referred you, um, I get some kind of credit. I'm not sure what. So I would appreciate that. Until next time, live beautifully.